In this video, you'll hear a health department interviewer conducting an interview with Noelle Craig, a resident in your county who has been diagnosed with a salmonella infection. This video models how to navigate a situation where an interviewee asks for medical advice. Before you begin interviewing, be sure you are aware of the differences between medical advice and public health advice. Review your agency's protocols for providing advice during an interview and what advice is within your scope of practice. Hello, may I speak with a Miss Noelle Craig? Uh, yeah, this is Noelle. Hi, Noelle. My name is Mark. I'm an epidemiologist calling from the Broome County Health Department. Is this an okay time to chat? Uh, yeah, sure. What, what is this about? Great. I appreciate your time. I'm just giving you a call today to chat about a recent illness and a laboratory test. It sounds like you had taken maybe around last week sometime, if that rings a bell. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I have this really awful stomach bug. And I went to my doctor for it last week, but they didn't really do too much to help. So maybe you can answer some more of my questions. I'm really sorry to hear that. I'm happy to do my best to answer these questions. So first, let me give you a little bit of background. I'm calling from the health department because we follow up on certain infections classified as reportable conditions. Basically, that means your doctor's office or the lab is required to notify us if any of these conditions are diagnosed. So last week in the lab test, you tested positive for a salmonella infection. So we'd like to conduct an interview to make sure that you didn't become sick due to something that is or could potentially make anyone else sick. So it'll involve asking some questions about your illness, but any of you, any of the responses you provide will be kept confidential. So they won't be shared with anyone besides us to track the disease. The whole thing should take about 20 minutes. Is it an okay time to get started? Uh, yeah, sure. You mentioned that other people could be sick too. Is this something that's like going around? If an interviewee brings up a public health related question that's within your scope of practice, answer their question in a calm tone and provide factual, clear information. That's a great question. I can't say for sure whether your illness specifically came from something that others have become ill from too. But a big reason why we conduct interviews with people diagnosed with salmonella infection is to find out more information that can help us answer that question. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's been pretty bad. I feel like I've been more sick than I expected to. And I mean, like I said, my doctor wasn't really helpful. I feel like they just kind of sent me home and said, that's it. That's all we can do. If an interviewee brings up a medical concern or a medical question, let them know that you aren't able to answer this type of question and that you can only provide public health related advice. Refer them to speak with a doctor to get the best medical advice. I'm sorry that was your experience. And I understand that you might have a few medical questions about your illness. However, I'm not a medical expert, so I'm not able to specifically answer any medical questions about the infection. For this type of information, medical providers such as your doctor will be, will be the best people to consult with. 
I can provide public health guidance, which focuses more on how the disease spreads and ways to prevent you or others from becoming sick in the future. So please feel free to ask any of those types of questions throughout the call. Oh, okay. That makes sense. What, what do you need to know from me? Starting off, around when did you start having symptoms? Uh, it was last week I started to feel sick, I think on Monday. So that would be last Monday, May 30th. Yeah, that looks right. May 30th. Yeah, so it's been like over a week now. Okay. Are you still feeling symptoms now? Yeah, and they haven't even gotten any better. I feel like they've just stayed bad for like at least more than a week now. Is that normal? Based on what we know about this pathogen, it can really depend on the person how long illness lasts. On average, salmonella tends to last between four to seven days, but again, this can really vary on a case-to-case -case basis. If you are concerned about the length of your illness, your best route is to check in with a medical provider to see what they would recommend. Oh, okay. Uh, what else do you need to know? You mentioned having stomach cramps. Is that right? Yeah, the cramps have been really painful. I was going to ask, I do have some Tums and some Advil at home. Do you think those would help to get rid of the stomach cramps? I'm sorry to hear that your cramps have been really painful, but unfortunately, I can't speak on any particular method for them. Again, the best person to ask that question would be a medical provider. Were you prescribed any antibiotics for your, from your doctor for your current illness? Well, see, that's another thing that I was thinking. One of my friends told me that they had took antibiotics when they were sick with something really similar to this, but my doctor didn't say I needed them. Should I be taking antibiotics? I know that antibiotics are not always recommended for salmonella infections, but I can't say anything regarding you specifically. Oh, okay. Great. My next questions for you are regarding exposures you may have had during the week prior to when you first felt ill. During that time, would you have eaten any raw fish? Well, I did have some sushi that week. Could that have caused me to be sick? Now, I can't say for sure. However, raw fish is one of the exposures we ask about because it has been linked to salmonella infections in the past. I do have a few more questions about that exposure next, though. So I saw on the news that there was an outbreak of salmonella from some peanut butter. Is that something that I should be concerned about? If you aren't sure of the answer to a public health related question, acknowledge that you don't know and offer to follow up with the interviewee after gathering more information. Interesting. I hadn't heard about that particular outbreak. If you'd like, I can look into this a bit more and then follow up after our call today. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Perfect. Let's move on to the next section. In the week before you started to feel sick, were you in contact with anyone who had a similar illness? Not that I know of. Could I have gotten this from somebody else? How does that work? That is possible, yes. Finding out... If that is the case, is a big reason why we do these interviews, as it can help us determine if there is any common source causing illness. Salmonella is a bacteria that can be found in various foods or in water. The illness is spread through what's called the fecal oral route. So that means any amount of fecal matter from someone with the infection, when ingested, can cause others to become ill. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, if I could have gotten it from someone, does that mean I could get someone else sick? I mean, I live with kids at home. I don't want anyone else to get this too. What, what do I need to be doing? For interviewees that have many questions about their illness, do your best to address concerns on the call and offer to send additional educational materials in a follow-up email. I really appreciate your concern here and desire to prevent further disease spread. The biggest recommendation I have is to make sure that you're very good at washing your hands after you go to the bathroom, before and after you cook food. It can also help to clean and sanitize things in your household, especially your kitchen and bathroom. 
I have your email here. So I'm going to send you the CDC website and a whole manual, which is a fun little description of the disease. And it gives you a lot of good advice on how to prevent the spread. Okay, that makes sense. Thanks for all of your help. Before you begin interviewing, be sure you are aware of the differences between medical advice and public health advice. Review your agency's protocols for providing advice during an interview and what advice is within your scope of practice. If an interviewee brings up a public health-related question that's within your scope of practice, answer their question in a calm tone and provide factual, clear information. If an interviewee brings up a medical concern or a medical question, let them know that you aren't able to answer this type of question and that you can only provide public health-related advice. Refer them to speak with a doctor to get the best medical advice. If you aren't sure of the answer to a public health-related question, acknowledge that you don't know and offer to follow up with the interviewee after gathering more information. For interviewees that have many questions about their illness, do your best to address concerns on the call and offer to send additional educational materials in a follow-up email. <laughs> 